Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2021 Panini Origins Football 4-Box Break number 3 where every spot gets you two random teams. So, 16 spots total. Everyone gets two random teams in the NFL. Um, and then some teams may have limited hits. Uh, this is the third 4-Box Break from a case that we started obviously with uh, random team number 1 and number 2. So thanks to everybody for getting in. Here is our list of customers from Travis Hildebrand down to uh, ben Hodat with Last Spot Mojo. Since every spot gets you two teams, we need to double up this list. So there you go. You can see Ben with Last Spot Mojo once and twice. And then back up to Travis with first spot purchased. And here's our list of teams from the Washington football team back up to the Arizona Cardinals. Dice roll to randomize both lists and pair them up four and a two, six times. Good luck, guys. Sixth and final time. Ben Hodap. Down to Eric Chuck. And six times on the teams. Sixth and final time. From the Buccaneers. Down to the Raiders. So six times on the teams. Six times on the Dames. And six times on the dice. And there you go. Ben Hodap with the Buccaneers. Joe Locust, Dolphins, Chargers, Chiefs. James Connell, Giants. Pasquale, Pascarella, 49ers. Joe Locust, Broncos, Matt Buckler, Cardinals. Gail Abloh, Eagles, Steve Wright, Saints. Mark Rao, Packers, Cowboys. Steve Wright, Falcons, James Connell, Panthers, Ben Hodap, Bears, Kyle Latorno with the Jets, Travis Hildebrand, Rams, Joe Locust, Steelers, Gail Ablo, Texans, Pasquale Pascarella, Bengals, Joe Locust, Seahawks, Kyle Latorno with the Ravens, Eric Jock, Patriots, Joe Locust, Jaguars, Brian Frank, uh, Browns, Ben Hodap, Bills, Brian Frank, Vikings, Joe Locust, Washington, Ben Hodap, Lions, Matt Buckler, Titans, Travis Hildebrand, Colts, Eric Jock, Raiders. Trade window is open. Uh, Steve has Saints and Falcons up for trade. So Saints and Falcons are on the trade block. <clears throat> I'm going to put this all up on the screen for you guys so you can see what teams you have and what teams other people have potentially for trade value. There you go. While you guys are doing that, I'm also going to figure out which boxes we're going to do. So you can see that these are both random team on there, right? So we're going to pop these open, uh, or not pop these open, we're going to roll a dice to figure out which four boxes we're going to do. One, two, three for the box on the left, four, five, six for the boxes on the right. Good luck. It's a one, so it's going to be boxes on the left. These here will be for uh, random team number four, which I will load into the store after this. Um, I'm also going to turn on the Nick Cam so that you guys can see uh, the boxes are there. I'm going to pop these open and just take the packs out of them. Bills and Lions are up for trade. Joe's asking if you want to trade the Bears. Ben says probably not. Mark is offering <clears throat> Packers for the Falcons for you, Joe. Or not Joe, uh, Steve. Steve says no thanks on Packers, Mark. I've got the packs already ready right there. I mean, I'm in no rush if you guys see any potential chance for trades. I do know Steve is a Bears fan. 
I do know that. So if you guys think there's any chance that you guys can make any deals, let me know. I'll even pause the video so that when people go to watch this video, they don't have to uh, sit through the long negotiations periods. Ben says he'll stick. Uh, Steve, Mark, you guys have any potential trades between you two or Joe? You three? Steve, Mark, and uh, Joe? Remember, um, Ben does have other teams up for trade, Bills and Lions as well. Anybody think, uh, anybody think, uh, um, what's his name? Chucky. Oh, John Gruden. Anybody think he's going to get fired? Uh, packs for Broncos. Joe is in the chat. Joe, do you have the Broncos up for trade possibly? Oliver says no. You know what's funny, Oliver? I don't think like what he did, I don't think specifically what he did would get him fired, honestly, I'll say. Joe says no on the Broncos. Okay, so Joe's out on trades. Uh, any deals between Mark and Steve then? I don't think like I don't think what he said is going to specifically get him tr fired, but um, I did point out that, remember, the... the, the uh, the Raiders have a 10-year, $100 million contract with him, which I think he's four years into or five years into, right? But once, I, I, if, they, if this is a way for them to get out of that contract without paying him any additional money that they're owed, all right, Mark says rip it. Okay, so trade window closed. If this is their, they, if this is their avenue to get out of this by firing him and not paying him a single dollar more than what, uh, what they've already paid him, guess what? I think it happens. That's just my opinion. Because he's either four years into his contract or five years into his contract. But he's got another additional five years and $50 million due. I don't see how they don't look at that as like a, hey, let's just cut our ties right now. We can fire him for cause. Let's see. Good luck, guys. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I mean, just use it as an opportunity to start fresh. Uh, Terry McLaurin to 299 for Washington and Joe Locus and Daniel Jones to 79. That is eight out of 79 jersey number for the Giants and James Connell. Derek Henry and Chris Evans. Uh, that's the thing, Oliver. It wasn't even leaked. Um, apparently, it was part of the investigation that the NFL is doing on on uh, the the front office in Washington, the Washington football team. And in back in 2011, when he was a part of ESPN, he was uh, emailing back with the GM of the of the uh, the Washington football team at the time. Kadarius Tony Relic, 75 out of 199 for the Giants. That is James Connell. And first auto out is Simi Fehoko, 8 out of 25 for the Cowboys and Mark Rao. Like, trust me, it seems way too convenient for it to not have been leaked, but at the same point, apparently, apparently they have rationale as far as where the information came and why it was put out there. It's very weird. You got Javante Williams for the Denver Broncos, Jersey and Otto. Denver Broncos, Joe Locus. There you go, Joe. He should be good in the second half. <laughs> right, Steve? No, apparently, so like, they were, they were still doing the investigation on the Washington's front office on like their, uh, their mishandling of all like the sexual, like, 
sexual harassment allegations that have gone through the front office or through the team in Washington and all the reasons people have been fired and um, what's-his-name had the control of the team taken away from him, all those reasons. So that's what the investigation was. But in the in the process of doing that, they obviously discovered all this other stuff too. So Jarvis Landry to 299 for the Browns. And Brian Frank and Aaron Jones to 25 for the Packers, Mark Rao. Very awesome. Will Very Fuller cool. and Miles Garrett. Go for it, JP. We love it. Why not have some fun? Exactly. See, thank you, Tim. Tim brings the right attitude every time. Appreciate that. I, I mean, apparently they went. I, they said they went through like 6,500 or 65,000 emails. Travis Kelsey, 83 out of 99. Just a couple off the jersey number there for the Chiefs. That is Joe Locus. He's pretty good. And our first auto is <laughs> Shatarius Tutu Atwell, 19 out of 25 for the Rams. And Travis Hildebrand. That is true. It's a good point, Oliver. They do not like his brother. So obviously by that relation, they also don't like him. We've got a redemption. Let's take a look. Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs of Blue. Not sure what that's numbered out of, but Blue Autograph. Card 35. R-H-A-M-O-N-D-R Ramondre Stevenson, which is the New England Patriots, which is Eric Jock. But yeah, I don't, I mean, do I think that the Raiders would fire him unless they were forced to? No. But do I think that the Raiders might look at this as an opportunity to not have to pay him $50 million? Uh-huh. A hundred percent. You got Derek Carr speaking to the Raiders, 190 out of 299 for the Raiders and Eric Jock and Tredavious White, 18 out of 79 for the Bills, Ben Hodap. You got Cooper Cup and Zach Wilson, the one and only. Jets, Kyle Letourneau. There you go, Kyle. Mike Zach Wilson. Great looking base cards. We got a relic of Trey Sermon, 196 out of 199, two color patch for the 49ers and Pasquale Pascarella. And I got a good name here, Jamar Chase. Very nice rookie out of 29 out of 199 for the Bengals, Pasquale Pascarella again. And Deami Brown, two-color patch auto, 48 out of 49 for Washington and Joe Locus. Very nice two-color patch auto, Deami Brown. And last pack, last box. Derek Henry, 21 out of 25. One off the jersey number there. Titans, Matt Buckler, and Patty Mahomes, 120 out of 175 for the Chiefs. Joe Locus, Tyler Lockett for the Seahawks, and Justin Herbert for the Chargers. Joe Locus as well. I really don't believe how good Joe, Justin Herbert is, as much as I'm a Chargers fan through and through. Still haven't, still haven't bought into it all the way. Uh, we've got Joe Namath, 9 out of 10. A little single color. Rise to the Hall relic. Nice one for the Jets. That is Kyle Letourneau. 
Nine out of ten. And back to back for the Jets. It's Elijah Moore. Silver Inc. 32 out of 49. New York Jets, Kyle Letourneau. And last but not least, Jersey and Otto, Cornell Powell for the Chiefs. And Joe Locust to finish it off. And there you go, guys. That's the break. Another nice four boxes in there. Last four boxes from that case are going to go in the store in random team number four. That was 2021 Panini Origins football four box break number three. Two random teams each from jaspyscasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jaspyscasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.